Meanwhile, will growth for the second half be challenging, as stated by RBI and its monetary policy yesterday? Will political measures pose risk of fiscal consolidation? Uh, we spoke about that uh, with a whole host of economists earlier on. In fact, got an important voices uh, from Moody's, uh, as also from Aditi Nair of Ekran. This is what they had to say on the matter. From a sovereign rating perspective, uh, monetary policy really, is the way we assess it is the credibility and the effectiveness of monetary policy um, and, and you know, RBI's actions um, over the last few years and consistent with what happened yesterday has been really focused on fighting inflation uh, and institutionalizing a inflation, flexible inflation targeting regime with credibility that can anchor inflation expectations. And we've seen you know, them be very successful on that front. Um, so it's been uh, supportive of the credit rating. Okay. Um, and ultimately we expect their focus now to shift, as we said, you know, on data dependence and, and a more neutral stance, mm -hmm. which is you know, a, a appropriate in terms of fighting uh, inflation and keeping a focus on uh, managing inflation expectations. Um, Aditi, uh, coming to you, uh, RBI does seem pretty much a beat in terms of growth. While H1 growth would be uh, good uh, given the lower base, there seems to be certain challenges uh, to H2 growth. What's your assessment of growth going ahead? So in terms of the growth outlook, you're absolutely right that uh, H1, FI19 benefits from the low base that we had related to the lingering impact of demonetization and the transition to the GST. So we do expect uh, growth to remain at uh, fairly high levels in uh, H1. Although the higher crude oil prices are something that uh, could start feeding into uh, dampening the purchasing power of uh, consumers, particularly after we've seen uh, the retail prices uh, going up for fuels, and also really eating into the margins of uh, producers. So there is a risk uh, already in H1 uh, that uh, the base effect isn't going to be enough to really uh, keep growth at very high levels. Mm -hmm. uh, having said that, we do have a lot of positives for this year. Uh, as of now, it looks like the monsoon is going to be normal and uh, you know, all the other uh, focus that uh, the central and the state governments have on supporting farmer income should be good for rural consumption. Uh, we still have staggered pay revision coming in and we do have a general upbeat economic outlook, so urban consumption should also do quite well. Mm -hmm. uh, overall consumption should remain the uh, chief driver of growth, followed by government, of exp uh, government expenditure in this year. Uh, investment recovery uh, should broad base by the second half of the year. But I think rising interest rates are something that uh, may put a lid on the extent of the investment recovery. So on the whole, we're looking at a 7.1% growth uh, in this fiscal. William, one of the key concerns has been the risk uh, to current account deficit as well as uh, the fiscal deficit, uh, primarily on account of higher oil prices. Uh, there are also certain concerns in terms of the overall GST collections. What's your assessment uh, in terms of both the twin deficits? So our expectation is that the government uh, can achieve the 3.3% central deficit target for the year, uh, but there are risks around that. You, know, you mentioned one of them, which on, on the revenue side we see two key risks. One is potential shortfalls for GST collections, given that this is the first year. There's still challenges around implementation. Um, but we're seeing some improvement on that front, I would say, um, you know, with implementation of the e-way bill and, and um, ta taxpayers getting more used to the system. Mm -hmm. um, that should, uh, over time, start to, to settle out. In the last two months, have been somewhat encouraging in terms of maybe those, uh, those, def those targets being hit this year. I think what's more important is the excise tax for oil uh, mm -hmm. and be given, given higher oil prices. Um, I think government has benefited from that over the last few years. It's been very helpful in terms of managing the, the fiscal deficit. Uh, mm -hmm. There's a risk that that could be adjusted, moving, particularly given some pressures on the, uh, the, the elections toward the end of the year. Mm -hmm. so okay, with that, we come to the end of this edition of Closing Trades. Thanks very much for watching the show.